Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical out here at the Range Complex TRC just outside of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, obviously you hear in the background shots being fired. Games are actually going on today. So this is the wrap up of the Carolina Cup. Um, so I figured what a better place to talk about this. So I've seen a bunch of people having some issues off of shooting off of some type of supported position. I'm gonna call this support, not so much cover just for what they were doing at the games. Um, I want to thank Clint from ATAX Camo for my new sleeves and then obviously uh, 0241 for making them. So if you guys check out both those uh, ATAX and 0241, great stuff right here. Gives you some nice sun protection. And I went with the uh, lighter ones just because of the, uh, the heat we had going on today. So anyway, what I saw was a lot of guys having issues of shooting their rifle off of a supportive position. So if you look, there was a berm out there that was 220 meters. So again, key things. This is why our 50 meter zero is so critical because we have got pretty much point of aim, point of impact, our 50 to 200. So it makes it easy to get our shots off. <clears throat> so first of all, I saw a, a bunch of people having issues where if you look at here, if I wind up, now granted on my radian rifle here, my rail comes all the way to the end, but a lot of guys, if they had a shorter rail, were actually resting their barrel on this piece of support. And the problem that winds up happening is what you can't see is there's some slight flex that's going on in this barrel. So trying to make those shots at that distance, it's never gonna happen. The shots are gonna be off. So this is why for me and, and on the games portion, I like as long as a rail as I can. So again, the first portion was they had to come up and fire from the standard position using this top rail of support. So again, as I sit there and come into it, what I'm looking to do is, you can see the different lane markers. I get into my lane marker. I'm automatically transitioning my hand from here because I know I'm gonna do some type of C-clamp to better secure it. I get on here and I can lock this rifle in. So if you look at, I have to go to a quasi kind of squatted type position, but I've got my back against something that's secure and my hand is C-clamping this rifle onto where it needs to go. I've got my stock in my shoulder well, I've got my good cheek to stock well, and I can sit there and make my shots. So this is key. Again, there's a little bit, you can see just from the angle, it's slightly angled, but my hand is keeping that rifle locked in so that my splits would be better. So then from there, once they fired their 10 shots, they had a transition down to this lower one. So again, if you look at how I'm positioned, I opt to put my normal uh, left side knee down, which in a classic kneeling shooting position, I would do something like this. But where I have support, I'm using this top rail. I'm switching my knees so that now my support elbow can rest right on there. I'm still using my C-clamp to lock this rifle and the rail onto my support and I can make my shots. So again, don't fall into the trap of doing something like this. So if you've got that shorter rail, that barrel's out there, you think you're good, but you're putting that flex in there and you're gonna throw your shots off. So that was one of the biggest um, things I saw here today, or excuse me, yesterday during the games was guys were just having a lot of problems shooting off, um, off this support. And again, guys, whether you're going from the standing position to now we're going to a kneeling, you notice it goes right in there. If you had to do a seated, I can just place my hand, pivot out. Now I just have to figure out, okay, is that one gonna work? Is it too high? Or do I come to the lower one and is that gonna work? Um, so it's just a matter of figuring out what support I have. The other part I want you to see, <clears throat> and I understand in this particular position, I have this large four by four right here, but I've got one also to this side. <clears throat> I can, again, if I have the option to go either left or right, I would rather go on this side so that now I have this piece of four by four even as a better spot to lock that rifle in. Because again, I just have more points of contact and I can really lock that rifle in. So now when I'm sitting here taking my shots, I can get my quick follow-ups and get all the hits that I need. Remember this, at the games, each miss is 10 seconds. So that can be critical. We had um, last year specifically, the ladies division, six seconds. So when you think about it, that was one shot. 
So that was kind of the difference between first and second. So that's kind of just your quick tip on using support out here at the games. Some common mistakes that I've seen. Guys train hard. Look forward to training with you soon. If you need a head or excuse me, if you have any questions, always hit me up on Instagram. Uh, check out warhog.com for all our training classes. We'll see you guys soon.